fee. I, I think all of us here who've got kids that are hanging around with their smartphones, they can use that money to, <laughs> to buy their smartphone units uh, uh, instead of having to reload the card. So it's, it, it's a plus, 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 in fact, for all those who are a bit tech savvy and are going to be using the new Kestrel card, which I hope will be many of you. Uh, even if we don't really need the card, then we know we're contributing to a worthy cause. So, uh, thank you very much for this. Um, let's now turn to uh, Vikash. He's a, you, a lot of us here, including the journalists in the room, know Vikash from a long time ago. Is the, uh, uh, he's the cons conservation director. I myself have crossed his path uh, several decades ago. I should say this, this gives away our age, huh, doesn't yes. it? <laughs> Growing old. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so uh, on to you, Vikash, uh, so you can tell us a little bit more about uh, where you've reached in the Kestrel, uh, in the Kestrel uh, program. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Gerard. Uh, Mr. Chowdhury, CEO of Bank One. Mr. Mahmoud, Head of Marketing and Communications. Uh, Mrs. Odewa, uh, Chairperson of the CSR Committee. Um, staff of Bank One, uh, staff of the Merchant Wildlife Foundation, especially the fundraising staff who've worked very hard on this, on, on this project, and of course uh, friends and members of the press. Uh, so it's great to be here, uh, it's great to be here for the launch of this special card. Uh, I can say that you couldn't have chosen a better symbol for your card because this is really, uh, of course we, we work on all birds and all birds are very special to us. But this bird has got an element. It was a bird that was next to extinction. Uh, a bird that was down to just four birds, uh, including two, uh, two, two females, of which a single one was breeding. So uh, believe it or not, the, the survival of the whole species rested on that one female. And it was in, in the 1970s when the whole world, or many people in the world, doubted about the survival of the kestrel and even put it into question. And some were even went to the extent to say we should forget about it and take our money and invest our money and effort into other birds that can be saved. Uh, it is fortunate that there are stubborn people in this world and who wouldn't never give up. And one of those is uh, our scientific director, Dr. Carl Jones, and uh, many others who joined him to try to save the kestrel. So it is a symbol of what we can do if we put our, our hearts and minds to do to, to it. And it is a, a struggle to get the birds uh, to increase uh, on Mauritius uh, that continues through uh, three generations of people who have been involved. Today we have many Mauritians that, uh, that are staff members of, uh, of the team. Plus, we are also joined by several international scientists that, that join us every year for the Mauritius Kestrel program. So it is, it is a bird which really uh, epitomizes what we are trying to do in Mauritius, which is to bring back from extinction uh, plants and animals. Uh, the Kestrel is, has become the symbol of that, not just for Mauritius, but for the whole world. Uh, there, there is no student and, and no program, study program in the world uh, on conservation that does not talk about the Mauritian success stories, most prominently the Mauritius kestrel. Uh, the bird uh, is now uh, much better than it was. We have uh, about 300 birds from just four birds uh, in, in the 1970s. But the work is far from, from finished. Uh, when we are looking at the restoration of a species, it's not an effort that goes oh, for, a few, uh, for a few years. There are no quick fixes, there are no quick returns on any of our work. It's not like, like banks where you invest and then you get money within a year, two years and... You will be surprised. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, but, but here, here we take decades. Here we take decades. And we're even now talking of projects that, are, that will be running in the next hundred years. This is how, how far we've, degrade, we've destroyed the environment, how in bad shape a lot of the species are, and the efforts that will, be that will be required. We know that uh, success is possible. The 30, 40 years uh, behind <coughs> us is proof that we can make a change. Um, and I'm, I'm glad to see that it's not only an affair of uh, conservation organizations and young scientists and ecologists in the previous days. Uh, to say that you're an ecologist was, you know, was associated with somebody being a bit of a lunatic. 
But nowadays, it's 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 uh, it's gained its its uh, its valor, and uh, and we're very happy to see that conservation now has been taken to the to the uh, corporate boardroom. So, for example, I'm sure you've you've discussed. Whether you'll be funding the kestrels, you know what, uh, how you you support the kestrels, and it's gone even far far beyond that. It's not just uh, giving out money; it is how can we be involved, and through the card system. And many companies now are saying we would like our staff to be involved. Uh, so it's it's n it's gone further from just giving out money, and I'm very happy to that Bank One is going far beyond its legal CSR requirements. And uh, the proof that you're giving upfront 200,000 rupees to the program is test testimony to, to your, your engagement in, in, this, in, in this species and conser wider conservation efforts. We would like to see more companies going far beyond their legal CSR requirements, and I think it can be done. Um, I think that uh, doing good business means uh, caring for the environment and caring for the society, uh, and that banks and other companies can be drivers of, of change, of positive change. And I'm very happy that Bank One takes this at, at heart. And, and as, as you know, I think you probably approached us to say, can we do something with you? And I'm sure, I know you were very, very closely involved as well. And, and, and saying, you know, let's, let's try to make a change. Uh, and, and this is where, you know, we go beyond CSR. We, the Motion Wildlife Foundation is a registered charity NGO. We've been around since 1984. We now run 23 programs, I think. And we seem to be adding two every year, despite the fact that we say we have to constrain ourselves. And uh, what is interesting is that uh, charity organizations receive money because we, we, we do not have profit-making activities. So we need money from companies like yourselves, from donations, from any other, other legal means to be able to run our pro programs. But the word charity comes from the Latin word cardio, which means heart. So CSR shouldn't be something that you're obligated to give by, by under the law. It should be something that you give because you believe in it and because you have your heart in it. And I, I've, I get the feeling that this contribution from the bank one is really because it comes from the heart. And this is why I think this partnership with you will be an enduring one. We're already very closely involved with Fernie Valley, and, uh, which, is, uh, which belongs to one of the, the partners uh, of the shareholders, of major shareholders of Bank One. Uh, this was the first place on the, we on the West Coast, Fernie was the first place on the West Coast where uh, kestrels were reintroduced. And the best population of Mauritius kestrels is now in and around Fernie Valley. And uh, this is a, a very wonderful success story. It's a wonderful example of collaboration between NGO, government, and the private sector. So, uh, and we've gone far beyond the kestrels in Fernie Valley. We, we are now, uh, we've put back uh, echo parakeets. We are working on putting back uh, pink pigeons, fly catchers, cuckoo shrikes. We are restoring, helping to restore plants. We are helping to develop ecotourism and uh, education in the valley. So you can see how things start with one bird, but over the course of the years it grows uh, into lots more species, and it goes into ecosystems, and it goes into education, into ecotourism, and it's a whole global concept, ecosystems concept, with uh, human beings being part of that ecosystem as well. So once again, I'd like to say, uh, you know, a, a warm, uh, well, a, uh, how can I say this, a heartfelt uh, gratitude to the Bank One uh, and to the staff uh, for this contribution, and I'm sure that our collaboration will go a very long way. En 1974, il ne restait que quatre cresserelles à Maurice. La déforestation et l'utilisation de pesticides avaient fait d'elle une espèce en voie de disparition. Grâce aux efforts acharnés de la Mauritian Wildlife Foundation, la population de cresserelles est aujourd'hui estimée à 400 individus. Mais ce n'est pas assez. Aujourd'hui, Bank One s'associe au combat de la Mauritian Wildlife Foundation. Pour toute nouvelle carte prépayée Bank One Visa, 100 roupies sont reversées pour la protection de notre cresserelle nationale à la vallée de Ferney. Ensemble, protégeons notre cresserelle.